Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Fallout 76. I finally decided to do the Enclave quest, guys. It took me forever to do it, but you know what? We're getting to it now. I'm going to solo this for you real quick. It's going to be really easy because I'm going to break it down for you super fast. All right, first of all, you're going to want to find the Abandoned Waste Dump. It's right here on the map. All right, I'm going to let you take a good, hard, long look so you know where it is on the map. It's on the eastern side of the map. Are right, you ready? All right, here we go. Now, once you've made it to the cave entrance, there's a... Yagwai carcass to your left there. Just go ahead and grab whatever you can out of it. It's there's gonna be loot there So you may as well grab it on the way in and then once you get inside you're gonna have to deal with two Death claws now now there I was coming in soloing this I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was I was almost out of shotgun shell So I used this weapon instead and what I found was you can actually kite these death claws back to this door And they will not follow you through so they're only gonna come to a certain point Then they're gonna turn around and they're gonna run off but you, you can get them around this corner. They seem to glitch around this corner pretty easily. Both of them do. So you can go ahead and you can hide on the backside of the stairwell. And you can go ahead and just, you can get them glitched. You can you know, cheese it around the corner. You can kill them very, very easily. And yet without taking hardly any damage, if any damage. So I would highly recommend you doing it this way until they fix the UI. <laughs> In this game, sure they will. Anyway, so... Um, that's how I did it solo. It's really, really simple. Once you've killed both of the Death Claws, then what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to find the body of the agent, which will have the Operation Summary Blackwell note. You're going to that'll start the Bunker Buster quest, and then you're going to go ahead and look into in the Death Claw nests to find the Bypass Hollow Tape, which will allow you access to the lower regions in the elevator that's inside this cave. So go into the elevator, use the bypass hollow tape, and it'll allow you to get down to the next part of the quest. Once you're down inside, go ahead and you can loot as much as you want. It doesn't really matter. There's no but nothing down here. Find yourself the desk with the broken computer. The inside is going to be a security system manual reset. There's a lot of broken computers, so you might have to work, look around for the right desk. And this note will tell you that you, to do three things. It's going to tell you to throw the circuit breaker, open the air flue, and activate the circuit conduit. At this point, your prompt should be activated. Now, it says it's optional, but I, don't, I think you actually have to do this. So you go to go through the door and then hang a left, go through the wooden door, find the laundry room, and then flip the breaker right here. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to go next to the metal door that's next to the hand scanner room, which is right there. You're going to want to go on the other side. There's another door over here. There's a metal door right here. Go through this and go through this other door and then find the air flue, which is up top, and turn it. And then once that's activated, then you can go ahead and turn around, go back to the hand scanner room, which is just around the corner where you were just there, we were just there. And then go ahead and put your hand on the hand scanner. That'll activate the, uh, the that'll deactivate the, the laser beams. It'll let you through. And then you're gonna go ahead and go through this door as well. And you're gonna find another room. Now, once you're in this other room, in the back, you're going to find a bunch of filing cabinets. Now, now you're going to want to go ahead and rummage through the file cabinets and find all of the notes that are available to you. The record of divorce, yada, yada, yada. There's going to be three or four of them. I think there's four of them. And each one is going to have a certain code on it or a secret code on it. Now, once you found all four notes, make sure that you give your game a second to update the quest line because I was wandering around wondering what I had to do next. And then all of a sudden it updated and it showed all four of these notes with the codes next to them and being a possible code. One of these is a possible code to get you into the next step through the keypad that's on the wall. So what you have to do is go to the keypad and try to enter one, four, one of the four of these codes. I was lucky the first code that I entered was the one that I needed. Once the code is activated, give your game a second to update, then it'll tell you to reach behind the painting because there'll be a sound coming from it. You'll get your congressional access card. Then you, then you go ahead and play that hollow tape. It's called Welcome to the White Spring. Just go ahead and scroll on down and find it. And then Bob's your uncle. That's the end of the, the Bunker Buster quest, guys. That will give you access to the White Spring Bunker and it'll start the quest One of Us. 
Now that's going to be in the next video, guys. So this is really, really a quick, a quick synopsis of how to get through the Bunker Buster quest. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If it was, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now because we do this sort of thing all the time. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. We'll catch you in the next Fallout 76 video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Uh,